Singapore Airlines have just been named the best airline in the world for the fifth time. But what's it like flying their flagship first class? And what exactly is a credenza? I'm about to find out this and more as I take a flight with Singapore Airlines in their first class suites on board the Airbus A380. Well, good morning from Sydney, Australia. There is the Harbour Bridge right outside my hotel room window. Very, very cool and a beautiful city. Uh, but I am off today to fly on what is apparently the world's best first class. Um, but in the words of my lovely wife, Rach, I'm reserving judgment because I think I've already been on board the world's best first class and it wasn't with the airline that I'm flying on today. So I don't know. We're going to find out what it's like today. We're going to head across to the airport here in Sydney and get on our way out of Australia. First job today then was to grab an Uber across to the airport. It's only about a 15 minute drive, which always surprises me. And it means you can stay downtown and still be at the airport really quickly. Thank you very much, have a great Thank day. You Thank you. All right, we're flying on Singapore Airlines today out of Sydney. Um, I don't know where Singapore check-in is. Let's see if we can go and find it. Hi there, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Good, good. You're just finishing off, what no belong, problem. okay? Hi, good morning, I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Can you need my um, COVID or? To Kuala Lumpur? Yeah. That's to Malaysia, right? It is, yeah. No, nothing. You don't need that, okay. No, but I don't need nothing. Hi, how are you? Good to meet you. See you all over Facebook. I see you. Oh, I'm sorry about you? that. No, it's all good. <laughs> oh, nice good to though. see you, yeah. yeah. I'm looking, is that here? I can hear that voice. Yeah. My Dorset tones, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here for? Uh, I got in last night at nine o'clock. So. So, so just, so just literally around. just passing through overnight, yeah. Good to meet you, anyway. Thank you. Oh, crazy flights. It is, it is. I'm doing it better this time. Last time I was through, it was all on low cost airlines. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I thought we were. Do you know where the Silver Crystal is? Uh, I had, don't know. I've not been here before. Okay. So after seeing the seven, you should just before you get to the gate, you're going to see the Thompson Beauty Free Shop. It's above it. Oh, okay, perfect. It's right near the gate then. Yeah, right yeah. next to the gate. Awesome. Thank you very well much. Done. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Good to meet you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, you too. Have a great day. Out. Thank you. I'll try. <laughs> See you later. All right, then, all checked in for my flight to Singapore today on the Airbus A380. It's back, guys. Singapore's A380 is back. I've never been on one before, so today is my first time. Um, and I'm hoping that there is a, um, like a premium security line because this line's massive. It turned out there was indeed a premium security line, but unfortunately, it seemed it wasn't that much shorter than the main one. It was crazy here today. It took over 20 minutes to get through security. Oh, crack, it's busy here today at Sydney. All the flights going out this morning, um, but through through security. Right, again, all designer brands here, isn't it? Dior, Louis Vuitton, St. Laurent, Prada, crikey. Some money coming through Sydney Airport, it must be. <laughs> I headed down to the Singapore Airlines lounge, which is miles away from the main concourse at Sydney, but it isn't far at all from the gate when it was time to get on board the plane. Hi, this is me. Hi, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, um, are you able to assist? Sorry. Oh, that's all right, no problem. How are you? Good, thank you. Loses their mind. Doesn't know where they're boarding passes. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. It's, um, <laughs> it must be the X-ray machine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the first one in the lounge. Oh, so okay. Did you want to take the optimals? Yeah, wherever I can see the planes yes. from. Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Take a seat here. I get time to bring you a menu. Shop. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So Singapore Airlines have got um, two lounges here at um, Sydney attached to one another. There's the business class one and then this is the first class one which is very similar I think. It's just that instead of being like a buffet type food it's um, like all like table service. They bring it all to you, do your order and they bring it over to you. So I've ordered uh, breakfast and they brought me some coffee and stuff as well. It's very nice, quite nice and quiet. In the Singapore first class lounge you get to order your food from a menu that they bring to you and I had an omelette with some sausage which I enjoyed while looking out at the views over the plains taking off outside. Pretty soon I saw my plane being towed to the gate. It was this Singapore Airlines Airbus A380 and not long after that I watched these poor sods take off to endure a 13 hour flight on Air India back to Delhi. 
Right, it's time to get on board the Singapore Suites on the A380. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Enjoy the flight, so that thank way. You. Thank you. Wonderful, have a good day. See you, man. Nice to have you. Oh, thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, you Take too, mate. Care. See you later. Bye bye. Started to see the video. <laughs> thank you. Hi there. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? So here we are then on board Singapore Airlines A380 First Class and I'm not saying this is a big seat but to put it this way it's the first time the crew have ever had to give me a guided tour of my seat before I even sit down. Thank you very much. Have you been on this uh, aircraft before? No, first time. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, just give you a bit of orientation. Yeah. That's the headset. Uh -huh. This is where you can plug in for the earphones. Okay. And then there's another one here. Right, and okay. then the bit comes up this way when wow, you okay. need to yeah. rest. And then we will let you know. I mean, you will let us know and then we will make the bed. You can make the bed up for me as well. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. And the controls for the seats are right here. Uh -huh. Okay. So you just press and hold the button and then you will shift to the TV. Wait, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like a spaceship. The TV. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. And okay. the TV can be controlled as well to the angle that you want to. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the control for the TV is either the touch screen or from the iPad. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a long way to reach over there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we we'll use, use that one. Page, yeah. <laughs> or maybe when you're on the bay, you can stand yeah. up. I mean, stop in and then you stand. And that's the table. Here. Lovely. Wow, wow. And this is where you have your meal. So okay. you tune, uh, turn the seat to Perfect. Okay. Wow, thank you. Mm, can I get you a drink for now? Would you like to have a glass of champagne? Um. Yeah, it's actually, can I have a Singapore sign, please? Sure. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank this you. Is for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you. It's a, a, a little gift. Uh, a mini uh, ticket. Yes, with uh, soap and things like that. Nice, thank and you. And also uh, a slipper suit for you. For uh, Okay. Well, we'll be more comfortable during the flight. May I suggest... Uh, yeah, I'll have go for the extra large. Yes, it's for Singapore size, yeah. won't it? So, yeah. <laughs> so, but have it's, one. It's more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Just want to let you know, flight time today is 7 hours 35 minutes from okay. Singapore. And uh, we're expecting pretty good weather. Wonderful, thank so you very much. Fantastic. Can we make it a bit longer and go around a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> thank you. Have you ordered a drink already? Uh, yes, she's got to get me a drink. I just want to know where to put my bag now. Yes. So. Oh, in here? Yeah. Okay. Ah, go. okay, perfect. Thank you. That should fit. Oh, like a glove. There we go, wonderful, thank you. All right then, welcome on board the Singapore A380 Suites in first class. This is just what on earth? Like, I've never seen a plane quite as well, and maybe, maybe I have. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And um, quite as lavish as this in first class. This is just amazing. Look. So we've got. So I, I don't even know where to start. It's a completely private room that you get, apart from the. Um, it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling, but it, it, it sort of goes like most of the way up um, it's got the you've got a seat here that sort of spins around and reclines and everything and then you've got a bed an actual separate bed that will come out later on in the flight so you can sleep on your own bed like a hotel room rather than a um, rather than an airplane seat we've got sort of all sorts here um, headphones iPad to control the in-flight entertainment Singapore sling of course um, you've got to do that on Singapore Airlines um, and then we've got power outlets and things just down there amenity kit and some PJs the bed just there just amazing and a massive TV and then we've got a closet here because there's no overhead bins on the AMA 380 in first so we've got this um, closet here where everything goes in um, your bags and everything go in there and then the door that closes all the way then we've got the table and everything here as well just this is just phenomenal isn't it um, and, and this is it home for the next sort of eight or nine hours. Before the safety video was played, the first class passengers get played a separate video showing all the features of the suite, which left me with only one question. What's a credenza? As I tried to figure out what on earth a credenza was and where it was located in my suite, we pushed back from the gate and started our taxi out to the runway here at Sydney.
As we taxied out, we got a great view of downtown Sydney's skyline on the horizon and all the plane spotters over at Shep's Mound watching us taxi out. But pretty soon it was our turn to take off and get on our way for our flight up to Singapore. Our route today then took us northwest out of Sydney, flying all the way across the Australian outback towards Darwin. From Darwin, we flew over Indonesia and then started our descent down into Singapore, landing after a flight time of seven hours and 40 minutes, cruising at 38 and 40,000 feet. All right then, airborne from Sydney on the Singapore A380, heading up to Singapore. You know what, I was just thinking, I've flown on quite a lot of planes that Singapore have over the years, the 747, the 777s, 200s, 300s, A350s, of course, quite a lot of them. I've never been on a Singapore A380. Um, but I'm not entirely sure why. I don't think they've um, flown them necessarily on the routes that I've been wanting to fly them on. Um, they were, of course, the launch customer for the A380 donkeys years ago. Um, and, of course, the first airline that's actually starting to retire them now. But here we are on potentially the best A380 seat in the world. Um, it's, 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 it's quite nice. It's, it's very fancy. It's very fancy. Is it the best first class in the world? I'm still not entirely sure. And I'll explain why um, a little bit later because I think there might be one that's a little bit better but I'll, I will explain more about that later on in the flight. Um, for now I'm just going to sit back, relax and enjoy these views out over Australia. <clears throat> Alright then, let's have a look at the way that the seat moves in this um, Singapore A380 suite thing. Um, all the controls seem to be in here. I forgot what she said, but I think you can move the seat round. Hang on. So this one here, it says TV and window, so I can move it. This is amazing. I love it. Um, the TV also moves as well. You can do the TV as well. Press that button there. For the truly lazy flying experience, you can just press a button and the TV will turn around, save so you actually having to get off the off your ass and move it yourself. So you can put the seat sort of like this. It's like a first class seat on American Airlines and like domestic or something. Um, and you can put the seat like this, so it's not too bad. So you're sort of reclined like this, or you can just um, get in bed, which I'm going to get them to come and make up, I think, because I want to try and see what that's like on this flight. You, you can't ride in a Singapore Airlines first-class suite and not try out the bed, can you, after all? So um, we'll, we'll try that in a minute. We'll get the crew to come. They said they need to come and make the bed up, so um, we'll get them to come and do it. Ever want to prove someone wrong, I decided to have a go at making the bed up myself. Oh, would you look at that? We have a bed. One thing I didn't have though was any bedding on the bed, so the cabin crew came round to make my bed while I headed off to the bathroom to do a bit of a loo review. It's time for the Noel Phillips Loo Review. <laughs> All right, time for the Singapore A380 Lou Review. First class Blue Review. It's a first class Lou. Um, I've come up to basically get changed into my jammers that they very kindly provided. I thought I'd come and check out the first class bathroom. I mean, look at this, look. You've even got somewhere to sit and do your makeup. Like, sit here and do my makeup, and yeah, all, all good. All good. Very nice. Very nice. What? 
This is a toilet on a plane. Why has it got that? Um, we've got... What else have we got down here? There's the toilet. Actually, compared to Qatar Airways, at least it's a toilet and not just a seat that lifts up to be a toilet. Um, and then that there. I don't know. Once again, we've got this random door here. Just like on Qatar Airways. I don't know what it is. Um, we've got flowers. Are they real or not? No, they're fake. They're fake. But to be fair, on Qatar we saw that the um, flowers obviously having real flowers in the bathroom is maybe a bit of an issue because they kind of die and stuff um but then we've got yeah so basically this little area here i don't know i don't know what that is strange um and then over here we've got the sink look at this tap look here how cool is that um we've got like a bin fancy makeup lights and stuff there lovely floor and the mood lighting down there on the floor um, and then we've got the um, Lalique sort of toiletries and things here as well um, I mean this as, as, as aeroplane loos go it ain't a bad one is it it's quite a nice loo this one on the um, Singapore A380 it's very nice indeed there is a second toilet it's not quite as big apparently it's the same it just doesn't have the makeup station in um, we'll go and check that one out in a minute um, but for now it's time for me to um, get changed into me um, Singapore Airlines branded pyjamas. You know what, it's not bad is it this? Quite a fancy pantsy. This is the um, Ladique branded sleep suit or pyjamas as we call them usually. Um, and it's quite nice quite a nice fit this is the XL by the way I've gone for rather than just the large um, they they thought I was an XL so they bought me an XL and it's nice it's quite big and baggy though which is quite nice that was the Noel Phillips Lou review them if they could please make up my bed while I was um, in the bathroom they wouldn't let me do it myself um, you don't get the bedding they have to go and get it and they wouldn't let me make the bed on myself I was like seriously I don't want to make a bed I'm all right but um, no, they've uh, made it up for me but um, it is very nice shall we get in, in the bed and have a look come to bed with me oh well, this is very nice very comfy um, it's nice. It's like a um, it's like a sleeper train. It's like going on like a fancy sleeper train, albeit one that is kind of exposed at the top there. But um, it's it's quite nice, quite comfy. Really long bed actually. I'm six foot four, and it fits me absolutely perfectly. You could probably get away with up to about six foot six in this bed because my head's not touching this end. And it's nice having the window behind you as well. That's quite nice. It's nice that you can actually lay down and look out the window just behind you. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I do like that, um, albeit if I was sleeping I'd put the window blind down here. As a matter of fact, let's see what the window blind's like. Oh, well there we go. It's one of those, it's a um, kind of a um, electric-y put-down one. It's quite nice, I quite like those, as you know. Um, always always nice, it feels like being on a private jet. It's very nice, uh, albeit a private A380. Um, and um, yeah, quite nice. The um, other seats as well, by the way, if you get an adjoining suite with somebody, the people at the side of me have got a double bed because I've effectively put this, put down this wall at the side, um, which turns it into a nice big double bed. Um, albeit I hope there's no hanky-panky going on over there. I shall be keeping an ear out and reporting back. Um, no. um, it's <laughs> Um, but you can you can effectively make two of these suites into a massive double one with a double bed in the middle, which is quite nice. Um, if you are travelling, not on your own, then I am. Pretty soon it was lunchtime. Oh, okay. oh no no no, it's okay. You can kill it all. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Just pour it, drink it. <laughs> Thank you. All right then dinner time uh, or lunch time should I say because it is a lunchtime flight it is still only midday Sydney time but I'm having a, a burger for my main course before that I've gone for the caviar somebody recommended me to have the caviar I, I am not a caviar person um, but to be honest 
it's kind of the best of like the fancy stuff that looked on the menu and I thought well I'll try it because you're flying Singapore Airlines first sweets you've got to do fancy haven't you so um, let's try this it does call me garlic bread so if I don't like the um, whatever these things are I can actually have it with a piece of garlic bread so which is nice got balls all around my mouth it's quite nice the garlic bread's the nicer part I don't, never understood the fascination with caviar it's just fishy, fishy balls isn't it I'm not really a fan of fishy balls Alright, time for the main course. I've gone for the cheeseburger today. Cheeseburger. Can I have cheeseburger, please? Mmm, cheeseburger. Um, and um, it's, it, it's just a burger. You don't get chips out with it, the looks of it. It's, um, hmm. It'd be nice if you got, like, fries, maybe. But, I don't know. It's, it looks quite nice. Did they put cheese on it? I asked them if they could put cheese on it. We have put cheese on it. That's nice. Very nice. Let's um, give it a go. It's not too bad. Um, I mean, as burgers go, it's reasonable, um, but it, 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 it'll do. It's not a massively long flight, it's only eight hours, so I can always have something a bit later. I think we got something later on in the flight as well, but it's um, a bit dry, it's the only problem. But, hey, it's, it's, it's not too bad, it'll do. Perhaps I should have saved some of my caviar to a donkey tin. Alright, time for pudding, I went for the meringue, actually. Which looks quite nice and it's got, I suppose they got ice cream with it but that's not ice cream that's hard I don't know it's, well it is ice cream it's cold oh, it is ice cream it's just sliceable ice cream Alright then, I figured I'd show you the immunity kit that I've been given here on Singapore. It's pretty, pretty cool. A nice little box thing you get it in. And there we go, without the wrapping. It's like a little leather box, very small. What's inside though? We've got a little um, satiny pouch with some toiletries in it. Body lotion, lip balm, a little plastic bag. Ooh, it's quite chunky, whatever that is. Uh, room spray, oh, it's air freshener. In case you make a stink when you go to the bog, presumably, you um, spray your air freshener after you've been... That's what that is, La Lique. Voyage de Parfumier. And that's it, really. Um, well, that literally is all that's in there. It's just toiletries. Um, which leads me to thinking, is there something else I'm missing? Is there like a eye mask or something somewhere? I don't know. There's nothing down here. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I know there's slippers in there. Let's have a look. Aha, they were in the cupboard. A pair of socks and an eye mask. Alright, then I figured it would be a good time to show you through the in flight entertainment system here um, on the Singapore A380. Um, I'm guessing it's similar in terms of content to every other cabin on Singapore. It's a fantastic system, but I just want to show you the TV and some of the stuff that they've got there. Like most of it's actually controlled by this tablet down here, um, Save Your Region. There's a touch screen as well, but um, there is a touch screen on the screen, but obviously it's right over there, and um, you can just do it from here. You can move the screen um, around by um, using these controls in the armrest down here. So if I just press this button, and it sort of brings the TV out like that, so we can have a look through it. Um, and I'm going to do it through here because it's just easy for me to touch it and show you. Um, so you've got the flight information here. Um, it's like a flight map. It's a pretty decent flight map. You can see all the menus and stuff on it here. Quite a lot in there. I've just watched the um, Amy Winehouse um, documentary, actually, the 2015 one. Um, I have to say, I've really been getting into her music lately. I've been watching the um, documentary here. It's such a sad, tragic story. Um, somebody so unbelievably talented was taken from us so young. It is sad really I think, and it's weird because I was never really into a music first time around and um, now I'm a bit older I think I've sort of matured into it and, but here it is um, all the sorts of movies you've got there's loads there's loads of stuff here it's Chris Singapore Airlines there's just so much stuff I mean if I do browse all on TV you, you could be here all day you could be doing like a 24 hour flight and never run out of things to watch um, the cool things about this screen though you can do light controls here um, and you can actually set the lights in this suite depending on like what you want to 
do so for example this light up here I can turn on and off and I can make it an ambient light I can make it on high like that or I can just turn it off altogether um, this mood light in here we can set that down a bit um, all seriously cool all the different areas of the seat you can sort of set where you want them to um, be and also save presets as well um, and these presets that you set here here's a cool thing you can save them to your Chris Flyer account um, with Singapore Airlines to allow you to basically have them remembered next time you take a flight in Singapore Suites if you're lucky enough to fly in Singapore Suites again so that when you get in your suite the lights are set exactly how you like them <laughs> I mean, if that isn't like the ultimate in terms of things you can do, I mean, like, wow. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean, basically the system is, is just amazing. They give you these headphones here, and these Bang & Olufsen ones that I've been using to listen to. I've got my Bose ones as well um, that I like to use, but I can't use them on here because the um, adapter only seems to have the little triangle thing and it's a little magnetic clip thing, so I don't think you can use your own headset on this particular plane. I don't know. Um, but these headset, this headset is really good anyway um, and that's well that's pretty much it really it's a massive screen um, it does so much stuff it's unbelievable and um, yeah you might not get the same sort of size screen in the other cabins on Singapore but you'll at least get the same level of content and that's pretty decent So here's the thing then, Singapore Airlines first class suites, how does it compare to other airlines and their first classes and is it the best first class in the world? Well, I'm still kind of got the jury out on that one really um, because I'm thinking back to my flights I did on Emirates in their first class which was fantastic but I guess really the issue is which Emirates product do you compare it to because do you compare it to the A380 like for like in which case it's clearly much better than Emirates A380 their first class is although it's nice it's just a regular seat with a sliding door no different to Qatar Airways Q Suite in business class or so many other products these days if you're comparing it to their um, 777s which have the completely private room well I think Emirates have the lead on that because their 777s have got a fully enclosed private room um, there's no gap up there at the top of the door it literally is your own room on the plane um, downside being I guess that this is the seat that converts into a bed you don't have a separate bed um, like we do here on Singapore Airlines so if you want the separate bed and that feeling of luxury I guess Singapore is a good way to go for that Singapore obviously as well don't have the showers on board that um, Emirates do on their A380 but to get the shower you have to fly on the um, first class seat um, because the 777s with the really nice first class don't have showers so it's kind of swings and roundabouts really as to which you get I think that this is up there I really do it's certainly the nicest first class I've um, been in it's the first one I've ever had that's had a separate bed and a chair um, it would just be nice if they could make that like full height over there it's okay you don't have to you know there's not um, any risk of people seeing and you can't see in over the top of it it's high enough for that but there's still like holes in the door for the cabin crew to be able to see through and stuff like that um, which is not quite the same as having your own private room really but here's the thing despite the fact you don't get a full private bedroom on Singapore Airlines like you do on Emirates 777s it's still an incredible space the fact that you get your own separate bed that's actually a bed rather than a converted seat is incredible and the amount of space you get on the A380 is simply insane. The other thing to bear in mind is that flying on Emirates can be a little bit like buying a lottery ticket because sometimes you simply have no idea which exact plane they're going to send on any given day and if you booked an Emirates 777 expecting a private room and ended up on one of their other 777s with this older first class seat you'd probably be a little bit disappointed. But in any case, we have to remember that these seats are still an absolutely incredible way to fly regardless of which you inevitably end up in. Now, none of them are particularly bad, but the point is really that when you're about to spend the amount of money that some of these seats cost, you have to figure out which is the best for the things that are most important to you. But when all said and done, let me know what's more important to you and do you prefer the full private rooms on Emirates or the suites with the separate bed on Singapore Airlines? Or is there another one that you'd like me to try that I haven't done yet? Let me know down in the comments. Airbus 
Corsair 380 cost me an eye-watering 3,200 US dollars or around about two and a half thousand British pounds, working out to a cost per mile of 84 cents. Now, if I'm being honest, I cringe a little bit about how much this cost me, but it was an absolutely fantastic way to fly. Goodbye, beautiful sweet. Would I do it again? Probably not. After all, this is one of those once in a lifetime experiences really. And let's be honest, at that price, who can afford to? But nonetheless, I had an incredible flight and would honestly say that if flying long haul in first class is on your bucket list, then there's not really many better ways to achieve it than with Singapore Airlines. Well, there we go then, Singapore's A380 first class suites. What do we reckon to that then? Any better than Emirates? Let me know. Watch that video, I'll put the link on the screen now. Let me know down in the comments. I'm off to get my next flight now. Short hop now with Singapore Airlines. So um, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.